Previously, we learned about nested routes by creating a block folder in the app directory with first and second subfolders. Each subfolder has its own page.tsx file corresponding to slash blog slash first and slash blog slash second. While this works for simple cases, using predefined paths isn't always practical for complex applications. Let's dive into scenario four to understand why. In this scenario, we are building a product listing and details page. When the user visits slash products, they should see a list of three products. However, when they navigate to slash products, followed by the product's ID, they should see details for that specific product. For example, navigating to slash products slash one should display details about the first product, slash products slash two should display details about the second product and so on. Let me show you how we can implement this in Next.js. First, let's create a products folder in our app directory. New folder, products. Inside it, we'll create a page.tsx file. This file will contain a React component that displays a list of three products. So export default function, product list, and we return an h1 that says product list, and three h2 for product one, two, and three. If you head over to localhost 3000 slash products, you will see our product list. That is part one done. Now based on what we have learned about nested routes, you might think we could just create separate folders for each product, right? A folder for product ID one, a folder for product ID two, and so on. Similar to first and second in our block folder. Let's try that approach first. We'll create a folder named one in our products directory and add a page.tsx file. Here, we will default export a React component that displays the text details about the product using an h1 tag. Export default function product details returns an h1 details about product. Sure enough, if we visit localhost 3000 slash products slash one, it works. But here's the thing. Imagine having hundreds of products. Creating a folder for each one would be a maintenance nightmare. This is where dynamic route segments come in handy. First, delete this one folder. And instead, we will create a special folder with square brackets. So within products, new folder, square brackets, and we'll call it product ID. I'm using product ID instead of just ID because it is more descriptive. Inside this folder, we will create our page.tsx file. We will default export the same component. Export default function product details returns an h1 tag details about product. But now something cool happens. When you refresh the browser and visit slash products slash one, we will see the product details page. Visit slash products slash two slash products slash three, even slash products slash 100, they all work. That is because Next.js treats a folder name in square brackets as a dynamic segment, making our routes dynamic and flexible. Product ID here refers to product ID 1, 200, and so on. But showing this same text for every product isn't very useful. In a real app, you would probably fetch product details from an API based on this product ID. For now, let's at least show which product we are looking at. Now, every page in the app router receives route parameters through the params prop. Let's destructure it as params. The type of params is a promise that resolves to an object containing the dynamic segments as key value pairs. In our case, that is product ID, the name of our folder. The nice thing about server components is that we can use async await to resolve the promise and access the dynamic segment. So export default async function product details and within the component, const product ID is equal to await params and access product ID. Display the product ID in the UI. Now, when you visit slash product slash one, you will see details about product one and slash products slash 100 shows details about product 100. And remember, the ID doesn't have to be a number. It could be a string. For example, products slash iPhone, and we see details about product iPhone. 
Scenario 4 has been successfully implemented. Let me summarize what we have built. We have created a folder with square brackets containing product ID, added a page.tsx inside it, and Next.js now maps any slash products slash ID URL to this file. Inside the component, we grab the product ID from the params prop to show dynamic content. Here is a visualization of dynamic routes. Page.tsx within the app folder corresponds to the root route. Page.tsx within the products folder corresponds to slash products. And page.tsx within the product ID within square brackets folder corresponds to a dynamic segment, slash one, slash two, slash hundred, and so on. This pattern is super useful for building list detail views in your application. Whether you're building an e-commerce site with millions of products, a blog with a few hundred blog posts, or any app that needs dynamic routing, this approach will serve you well. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.